I am playing Hearthstone in Nax Ramas, completing the play quarter with a basic mage deck. And I just reached Lothab. Lothab causes your flesh to rot. So I recommend a melee class. And this is my favorite battle. And it is yeah, you're gonna see it. It's it's super fantastic. But the problem with Lothab is that he deals three damage to you, uh, but um, yeah, and he has a lot of hit points, but uh, he gives you some buffing cards that uh, boost your minions' attack points, so it can be some crazy fun battles. Um, so, once again here, these are my custom decks, the decks that I have made with the cards in my collection. I am moving away from them with this arrow, going to the basic decks. These are the pre-made decks that any player has once the heroes reach level 10. You get them when you unlock the hero. But they change as you earn cards and at level 10 they are the way they're going to be like forever. So selecting the mage Jaina and going in to um, take out Lothab. Jaina versus Lothab! I see you. You asked for it. So I think this is a very good start against Lothab. I have some cheap minions and I have the arcane explosion that I can use to clear out all the zero ones that buff my minions. So um, yeah, Lothab has 75 um, hit points but that's not going to be a problem at all because your minions are going to be dealing insane amounts of damage. You don't really want to be worrying about your own hit points, but you do want to try to keep your minions alive because they're going to be dealing so much more damage than you're used to. Uh, Lothab has some random cast uh, spells that deal uh, like a one damage to uh, to all minions that leave a little spore. So the one health minions are like, yeah, they're just gonna die anyway, and of course the the goal as well. But uh, it's nice to have them down there just to like uh, force Lothab to, to use those spells. Sometimes they're just being cast anyway, but uh, yeah, we'll see. So let's go with this one to start with. Boom. And just remove the dancing souls as well. Get a free card. So there's the Bloom, the first of the two cards that summon a spawn. And these are the really interesting ones. Go away, your turn. Zero one minions that give all your minions plus 8 attack when they death rattle, so it's a super strong card, super super strong. I'm going to start by popping down some of these um, some of these weak things, um, and I don't want to shoot that yet, because I want it to affect as many of my minions as possible, preferably get more than one, uh, so this is a bad deal, because once this dies, this does as well, as well, so I need to have like a build up before using it. That's a really bad stuff. Oh, if you're sure. I'm not gonna do it. I'm going to try to see if I can angle this in a way that uh, allows me to keep... No, I can't. That's a shame. That's a real shame. I would have loved... Oh, I can. That's so amazing. Okay, so... I can take out these two now, then I get two damage to, uh, to my all minions. So I need to um, to get as much down as possible, and of course I want my shield master. 
Okay. Well, this one's really the only other option I have, so that's uh, that's no good. But I'm going to do these uh, one at a time. These are going to pop both at once, but there's nothing I can do about that. As you can see, this is some pretty nasty stuff. Um, I can try to put this one down and hope not to get like the spawn attack that um, deals one damage to all minions. But then again, if it comes, I'm going to get another spawn. It's going to be a party anyway, so a 23 sentient isn't that bad. So another spawn. Good times. I can pop down these two. I'm gonna go with this because it's going to be able to survive. Uh, that's the stuff you want. It is very hard. And I'm going to save that in case I get to put down these two next turn. Uh, that would be so cool. So, popping this engine again. So, four minions down, that's uh, that's pretty okay. Let's uh, go with the arcane here to see if I can clear out both minions, I could. So I can attack with the additional 16 points of damage right away here. And just have a party. So, one damage to all. I lose this one, but then all these are going to boost up with 8 additional uh, attack points. So, not really a smart move, but uh, yeah. So, we might as well just put this one in for show off and then shoot it. So, these really just buff up insanely when you're playing against Lothar. And that's how you take out Lothar with your basic mage deck. It's a very fun battle compared to many of the other games in uh, Lux Ramos. That's my opinion anyway. So these are going to be the last rewards in the play quarter. We're going to get two cards now. And those are the sludge belchers. They're 20 minions. I'm gonna go look at them in the collection, but we're also going to get the Lothar legendary minion and that's an insane card. I'm playing with it all the time and it's absolutely amazing. You can really trick people by holding their holy morphs, uh, flame strikes, whatever, you know, like holy nova. No, you need 10 mana to cast instead of 5. Okay, yeah, then you win the game. So it's really cool. But let's go look at those in the collection before I jump into doing the class challenges here on the American server. So back, back, and my collection. So this is Lothar, the legendary. A 5-5 five, five for 5 mana, that kind of like makes enemy spells cost 5 mana more the next turn. I've won so many games by playing this guy uh, already, it's uh, very fun. You're going to be, you know, expect to see this card in uh, any type of deck because it's the, it's the game changing thing, you know, you, you, you think yeah, you're gonna be able to pyro, no you can't, okay, you were expecting to uh, cast your zero mana spell that heal all minions, no, now it costs five mana, so it's a super cool legendary. Uh, you also have the sludge belger, and that's a uh, three five taunt, so that pops another taunt when it dies, so that's also kind of cool for those at control style decks. So, anyway, that was uh, clearing the uh, play quarter with the basic mage deck. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any comments, please leave them. I can't improve if I don't know how to improve. So, thank you.